Well, what a privilege. What a day. 196 countries in the world, gentlemen. And right at this very moment, we have been kissed on the tush by a rainbow. We are here in the harbour of Sydney. Scotty Pippen, Luke Longley, welcome to SEN. Thank you. Uh, there's no better way to do it than on the harbour. And happy birthday, young men. Birthday last week. This is your big birthday present. How you seen it? Wow, this is a great gift. Uh, thank you, by the way. But, uh, yeah, this is a way to celebrate your birthday with your teammate and uh, hanging out in his country and promoting the NBDL. Now, Lukey Longley, you're the teammate. <laughs> the NBL. Well, it is day five. Now, Luke, we've all been on these trips away, and sometimes after day five you get a bit emotional. You need a cuddle, Scotty. That's all right. Luke, how you going, mate? I have a cuddle, mate. Are we yeah. leaning in? Yeah, we leaning go, in? Thank you. Yeah, very good. No, we've had a ball. We've had a ball. There's been um, nothing but fun, really, yeah. um, culminating in a cruise like this. Like the NBL's turned it on for us. We've seen some great events. We've travelled in style. We've eaten like pigs. It's been great. Sounds like me. Lamello Ball, uh, you talk about Lamello Ball, you talk about Josh Giddy. So Lamello Ball goes to the NBA, sets a record for the youngest to get a triple-double. That's soon followed by Giddy, another from the NBL. It's quite the stable. Is it being recognised, Scotty Pippen, over in the States? Oh, yes, for sure. Uh, we definitely recognise the uh, value in how much basketball has grown here in Australia. And really, they're a uh, sort of development and feeder lead. Uh, they got the Next Star program, which uh, I think a lot of Americans now are really paying a, a lot of attention to Australian basketball. Luke Longley, there's a talented youngster over there in LA at the moment, playing in the G League and playing a bit for the Lakers as well. But we've seen the development from the NBL. Is there a prized icon signature for a Scotty Pippen Jr. coming to the Kings? Any chance? <laughs> we certainly, uh, we've certainly been talking a lot about it. He's got game, and it, you know, we'll, I think his game will fit down here. So you just never know what will happen. I know Scotty, Scotty's loved being down here, loved to see his kid down here. But really, we'd like to think he belongs in the NBA. So, you know, if he has to bounce here to get there, we'll see. Demarcus Aldridge, he was spotted at the game last night. Of course, his teammate, Damian Lillard. Big news there. Do you like that? Yeah, I think it's great news, uh, you know, for the NBA. Uh, and it's great news for Dame, I guess, you know, having an opportunity to go and win a championship uh, playing with Giannis. I think it definitely is going to enhance another powerhouse in the NBA, uh, especially in, in the East. So it should be very interesting how things turn out now in the NBA. We've always felt like that. It's always going to be the Golden State Warriors or either with LeBron or whoever he was with. So now um, I think Giannis has got that, that piece that, that he need to uh, win a few titles. Speaking about few titles, you are a prolific three-peater, Scotty Pippen. You did it twice. Last night you are at the game, and the irony in all of this, Nathan Cleary, the Panthers, we haven't seen a three-peat ever in the National Rugby League in the era of the National Rugby League. Scotty Pippen happens to be in the building. You see a three-peat. Did you understand... Or could you just imagine what those boys were going through last night? Oh, yes. I mean, I've experienced it. That guy there have experienced it. I've experienced it twice. But, uh, yeah, anytime you give yourself that opportunity to defend your title, uh, I'm, I'm going to pull for the champs because I think that they're more mentally tough, they're more prepared, and uh, they have done it before, twice. You were here for both the AFL Grand Final and the NRL. The sporting gods of Australia have just shone brightly on us. What did you make of both games? It was it was great. I enjoyed the NBL game the night before, but uh, it was definitely two great events. Uh, if I had to pick one over the other, I'd probably take the AFL. Oh, is that right? It was a little bit more exciting, uh, something that I felt like I could be a part of had I knew how to play this game when I was younger. But uh, I definitely enjoyed the way that they have the vision out on the field, a lot like basketball, I felt like. That's a big win for the AFL listeners. Trust me, we might cut that out for the Rugby League listeners. Luke Longley, um, I'm not sure that you would agree because watching the AFL lead-up, there was no handball. It was a Rugby League pass. Oh, I was messing around with BT, but he, he didn't catch it. He didn't catch it. I did give Scotty a handball after that. But um, back to the Panthers, they did look like champs last night. Down that big, towards the end of the game, they, they knew how to win. You could see that. You could see Brisbane... Um, I guess not folding, but you could see them starting to second guess themselves, and uh, it really was what, like watching a, an old bull take down the, the young bull, you know, so to speak. And uh, we know what that feeling was like back in the day. Your team, the Sydney Kings, on the cusp of similar a three peat. You're an owner yeah. at the Sydney Kings. Do you knock on the door, Ivan? Let us in. Tell us a few secrets how you get it done. <laughs> 
Not that, you, not that you need secrets, you've done it yourself. But we, we may approach him, that's not a bad idea. You know, we've, uh, we've totally retooled. We're a new look, to, we're a different Sydney Kings team. I'd like to think we're a better Sydney Kings team, but the proof will be in the pudding. If we're talking MVP off the field, uh, how's this man to my right, Scotty Pippen, performed? How have you performed? I know Ronnie, where's Ronnie? Ronnie's at the front of the bus here, at the front of the cruise. He's been outstanding. How's Scotty gone this tour? Scotty's got legs, there's no doubt about that. We're both getting old though. Some of the younger people around the tour have outpaced us, no doubt. But uh, when it comes to a head-to-head, -head, Scotty's going to win every time because he's, <laughs> he's got the DNA for it. Scotty, just tilt your head up a little bit here. We're about to come under the iconic Harbour Bridge of Sydney. Famous, famous, iconic landmark in Australia. What have you learned from being here in Australia? Is there something new that you maybe didn't know otherwise? Well, you just said it, the landmarks, a lot of beautiful art, a lot of beautiful buildings, the bridges. Uh, it's just a beautiful city, and having an opportunity to see it from the bay today just enhance it even more. You missing home yet, or we, could we keep you for a while? Oh, uh, you can keep me for a while, but i got to stay at the Crown. Oh. <laughs> Scotty Pippen, Luke Longley, uh, just before you go, we need a tip for the NBA this year and for the NBL. Do they get the three-peat? Who takes it out in the NBA, Scotty? Uh, I, I think the um, the Sydney Kings will three-peat. I think Luke brought me here for a purpose. I'm very uh, contagious when it comes to winning a three-peat, as you saw in the uh, rugby game last night. So it's a done deal. I'm just here to witness it. Lukey? Yeah, mate, it's hard for me not to tip the Kings. I think there's a couple of great rosters out there, but obviously I'm a little bit biased. But we do have a lot of firepower. If we can figure out how to defend, and with Scotty's little magic um, sprinkle of magic dust, we'll be all right. NBA? To be honest, I don't, I don't really watch it a lot. I, I would say as far as the NBA, uh, I'm going to have to go with the best player who I think is in the game right now. I hope I don't get no crap for this, <laughs> but uh, I'm going to go with the Denver Nuggets again. I, I, I think Yoke is, is still getting better, and uh, again, he's the best player in basketball right now, so I know he has a lot more uh, to show us. To me, he's still a fairly young player in the game. I didn't stop growing and developing until probably I was around 30. So uh, I expect him to continue to get better. The greatest player in rugby league at the moment, Nathan Cleary, who's celebrating right at this moment. He's been compared to, will he one day ever be the greatest? The debate in America rages on, and it's a great debate, argument either side. LeBron, Michael Jordan, of course, LeBron, your young blokes at the Lakers, so you've got the alliance there. Um, Michael, who you played with, are you settled on any opinion there? Uh, basketball is a team sport, so uh, when you ask who's the greatest, I don't really want to pull out an individual, but I can tell you who the greatest team was, and you know who that is. What particular year, boys? Well, if you had to go back to the greatest Chicago Bulls side, Luke, what would you nominate? I mean, Which I, year? I can't. I was only there for half of it. I'm not. I'm not. I mean, I, we had this argument the other day. I was like, why not the '72 and '10? year which was the I for the greatest year that I played obviously but I know Scotty feels differently so you know we can't wind back the clock but you have to ask him he was there for all of them you can still win a three-peat Scotty without winding back the clock coaching if you're under the best the best in the business in Jackson would you do it uh yeah I I think it's it may be in my wheelhouse I haven't uh pulled the plug yet but it, it could be a calling for me soon Calling from you, maybe from a man called Lukey Longley, perhaps. Gentlemen, it's been an absolute privilege for you both. Um, <laughs> thanks for thank being you. part of SEN. We appreciate it. Luke Longley and Scotty Pippen, thank you very much. Bye.